Hi, my name is Zoe. I'm nine years old and I live in Germany. I'm very interested how the human body works and especially how my immune system helps me to stay healthy. So, I'm excited to ask some questions to Dr. Bernhard. Hi Bernhard. First, can you tell me what you're doing at Bayer? Sure, Joey. Very nice to meet you. Well, I'm a medical doctor by training and currently I head the medical team who works on medicines that you can buy in drugstores like aspirin. Right? My team, they do research on products to ensure that they work and they are the right ones for you and your family. At the moment, we are working on products that help strengthen your immune system. Where do you live, Bernard? I'm in Singapore. Do you know where Singapore is, Zoe? No. Singapore is very, very far from where you are. If you take a flight, it will take you 12 hours to reach Singapore. Can you help me to understand how our immune system works? It seems very complicated. Yes, the immune system is very complicated, Zoe, and people spend their lives studying it. However, let's try to simplify it. Have you played the game Police and Thief before? No. No? Okay. Well, anyway, in the game Police and Thief, we have the police trying to catch the thief. So the police is the good guy and the thief is the bad guy. Our immune system is like the police and they are trying to catch the virus, the bad guy that comes into your body. When the virus comes into your body, the immune system identifies the bad guy, the intruder, and tries to catch it. Cool. Who are the bad guys that are attacking our immune system? The bad guy can be anything from a virus to a bacteria that comes into your body and wants to cause harm to your body. Thank you for the explanation. What does the immune system actually do at, to catch a virus? First, we have our white blood cells. They are like the general policemen who constantly patrol our body system, looking for the bad guys. It could be a germ or it could be a virus. When they find one of these bad guys, they begin to send signal out to other police to come and help them and also to multiply. Then the backup cells come and they build it around the germ, they break them down and they eat them up. Why is it important to strengthen our immune system? Well, I'm sure, Zoe, you do not like falling sick. You do not like staying at home, right? Well, no. <laughs> for for so that's why it's so important to strengthen your immune system because if you want to win the game, we need the police to win. And for the police to win, we need them to have the right tools, the right equipment for them to do their job. Strengthening our immune system is giving the police what they need to win. Are there things I can do to be a better germ fighter and help my body to stay healthy? That is so, so important. When you sleep and rest, your immune system recharges. Eat well and ensure your body has all the nutrients it needs. Nutrients like zinc, vitamin C, are important for your immune system to be at its best. In summary, like what your daddy and mommy always reminds you, sleep well and eat well, and that includes your fruits and greens. It is also important to strengthen your immune system with training activities, preferably outdoor, exercising. Because when you do that, your body produces adrenaline that helps you become better. I like sleeping. Some people say that wearing masks helps protect people from the coronavirus. And other ones say it doesn't. Which one is true? Well, Zoe, a very good question. This question has been asked by many people around the world. The United States Center of Disease Controls, they are a leading research center with lots of smart and world-leading experts there. They release a guidance to show that wearing masks protects yourself from the COVID infection and it also protects others from the infection. I wear a mask 
always when I go to school. Thank you for all this advice. This has been a really helpful talk. I feel like a more powerful German fighter already.